Well, clap test for audio clap. one. Clap test for audio two. Rolling sound. Action. Flash kids. Welcome back to the second channel. Today we have our buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Our, uh, they paid me to be here. So let's just make it as transparent as we possibly can. One bag of tipsy <laughs> rolls. That's all it took. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Flash gets his mortal enemy, Hunter Hancock, aka Meat Canyon. I like how it's my name too. We hate him in this hero video. Mario movie, old news now, but breaking box office records left and right. A trillion dollars. Like, it's about to catch up to the Titanic. Uh, a man with a very thick Japanese accent reached out to us and, and he was like, <laughs> the, the, the Mario movie just broke all records. And we want to do Zelda, but we want someone young, fresh, up and coming. 32. Okay, go ahead. Just hit, just turn 30. So we're going to write the script live right now uh, with our Japanese compatriot over the internet and, and write the perfect Zelda movie. Oh. I mean, where do we start? I, I think you got to start with the cast, no? You want those big A-list Hollywood actors. You want who your would, Seth Rogans. Who would play your Link? Your Chris Pratt. Who would play Link? Well, Link Danny DeVito. He's got to well, be a shatterbox. Justin <laughs> Bieber. Is Link. Wow. That's unusual. He's That's not an actor. That's offensive to me. I don't like it, yeah. I, I would I think I want Jamie Foxx. If Justin Bieber was the <laughs> If Justin Bieber was the, the fairy thing that flies around. Oh that's cute. Hey, oh, he's, he's like, hey, hey, yeah, it's, it's progressive. Yeah. I'm not totally against Jamie Foxx being Link. Link. I mean that's pretty fun. Can you do it like but but post because I think he just had a stroke. Jamie Foxx had a stroke? I think so. So Jamie which Jamie. gives him the kind of perfect voice for Link. Sort of. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm ah. gonna come get you. Ah. I'll go get you, Zelda. <laughs> that's right. That's Jamie Foxx's link. Right you, I'm gonna throw one out at you. What if you had Michael Sarah? Uh, you could make Margot Robbie could be Zelda. Yeah, that's true. That's a good one. Michael Sarah, rizzing on fucking Margot Robbie. What about oh, Billy geez, Eilish? Uh, oh God, I don't. Oh, know. I like that. The visceral reaction. Gonna get people uh, talking. No. She could sing songs. You could, instead of Bowser being the, si the yeah. singing one, you could do Zelda. Yeah, you could have Zelda be the one just be like, I tried to run away, <laughs> but I can't. You know how she fucking sings? It's all soft. It's like, you're like, speak up when you sing, bitch! Dave Bautista. I actually ironically <laughs> love that. You like Dave Bautista? Dave, 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 Dave Bautista, because I feel like he would be just a horrible voice actor. <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, he's like in one register for every movie he's ever in. If I if I saw the ad, it would make sense. Michael Sarah is Link and Billy Eilish is Zelda. I'd probably go see that. Dave Batista. Dave Ganon. I, I would. That, that, that kind of makes sense. That definitely. If I saw that, like the trailer, like the names popping yeah. up, you know, I'd be like, what the fuck <laughs> is this nightmare? Um. Okay. Well, let's start this film. I see. No, we've got our cast. I Who's feel. scoring the film? I know you guys told me, I know it's an 80s game, but I feel like it had its heyday in the 90s with Ocarina of Time. We gotta get like uh, Outcast in there. And, uh, <laughs> I thought you were gonna go like a Nirvana route. It smells like Teen Spirit. Yeah. Zelda uh, like, no. putting on his sword. <laughs> and he kicks open his door. <laughs> Is that how it starts? <laughs> Alright, opening scene of the movie. Link. Bust right. down a door. The Zelda games bust down his hut's door what does and he steps play? out into Hyrule Forest. Right. Are we not gonna have him start somewhere contemporary to ease the audience in? Yeah, I was gonna say he should live in like Portland. Yeah. Steps out of his studio apartment in Portland, Oregon. Okay, Link. <laughs> Link from the Zelda games. A girl is having a... His studio <clears> a girl store. is being stabbed to death by a homeless man. I was... He shoves open a window to clear the room of its musty smell and shuts himself in for some privacy. You are standing on a red carpet that extends across the length of your studio apartment. I guess we're Link in That's this innovative new way of writing. That's right. Yeah! Uh -huh. Say. Okay. Say. Yeah! The sounds echo through the room as you suddenly find yourself standing beside a large black door at the other end of the carpet. You step over and turn the knob, it is unlocked. A 
The hallway leads east to another door, which opens into a bathroom. Zelda's in the bath. Zelda's in the bath. Zelda's in the bath. Put her in the bathroom, short hit. So <laughs> it's, it's Billy Eilish 18 yet? Zelda's in the bathroom with. Zelda's in the bathroom. She is. In the bathroom. <laughs> In the, in, in the bathtub, <laughs> suds on her breast. <laughs> suds, suds, suds on, suds on suds her suds breast. Enter. And running down her body as she sings along to Smells Like Teen Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> she looks up with an expression. <laughs> Poor Michael Sarah Link. <laughs> well, th this is our story arc. So we, we open. Zelda, Link's girlfriend, doesn't respect him as a man. Yeah. And now we gotta we gotta flip that by the end of the story. Yeah. You're lucky you let me uh, you I let you eat my pussy. You reckon she does? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. No sex, but let's her let's let's him chow down. She Sound calls she calls your pussy pedigree. Go on, go on. Go get go down there. Get <laughs> go yourself, get go get it. Go get yourself some kibble. Yeah, okay, we're establishing that Zelda doesn't really respect Dude, that's, him. that's kind of tight, Billie Eilish singing along to Smells Like Teen Spirit. Uh, this is going to cost that, so much money. That's what's good. <laughs> the budget for this is already out of control. Yeah, the guys at Warner Brothers are like... <laughs> oh my, looking at the script. <laughs> she sings what? <laughs> Can't you just have her sing, I don't know, Cherry Pie? <laughs> She, cause she, she needs to get kidnapped here. Ex yeah. By Dave Batista. Yeah, Dave. Just the day just smashes through the yeah, wall. Yeah, Dave Batista fucking barges breaks in. And, like <laughs> plows through the fucking window in the bathroom, cutting up her soapy titties. And he's like, "Come with me." To make it like a uh, Portland as well, Dave Batista needs to grab her and then go into like a Subaru <laughs> Pathfinder or something like that. That's true. <laughs> Dave Batista drives off in his Subaru Pathfinder <laughs> with Zelda. God, that car gets such great. Yes, mileage. Okay, type that in. Zelda, so type everything in, okay. ending with Zelda Dave thinks to herself, boy, that car sure has a lot of great gas mileage. Window, I could never afford that. Yeah, yeah exactly. There you go. Smashing I want to say, unironically, off, though, already, if I was in the movie theater seeing this, I would be like, this is fucking awesome. Tell, yeah, tell me this would not make the rounds at fucking Cannes. Dude, I would watch this, dude. Zelda screams. Ah! 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 Zelda screams as she is tossed around in the back of the car. Link shouts, ah! picks up a crowbar and charges after Dave. He doesn't have his sword yet, because we're still in contemporary times. But it needs to have something where you could use the Portland-esque nature of it and the exactly. Subaru to transport into the place, right? So, so you know the most about Portland, because you love Portland. It's your favorite city on earth. I, I love it. I love everything that they do. Everything. The riots, everything. Absolutely. <laughs> the political landscape of everything. <laughs> no, that's, hey, that could be nice. Something about the riots. No, we can't be political. They run! We can't be political! We need no, no, a no. billion dollars! No, no, you, you ride through and they're they're protesting something that's not political. Ganon is driving up through, he mows down a mob of people rioting. Not that we need to do it. But David Tisa no, mows no, down a group down of a score of protesters, then peels off into the woods. That's such a funny visual. <laughs> he didn't even need to run them over. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking hates but, them. But to be fair, that you're establishing a bad guy. But depending on what they're protesting, he might be the good guy. Well, we don't need to get in the weeds of it. That's for, uh, <laughs> we'll leave that to the audience. Yeah, that's for the sequel. Link, Link uh, follows the trail of dead bodies into the forest, yeah. where he comes across a mystical gate or something like that. Link walks through the mystical gate and emerges in high room. Wearing green tunic and brown boots. Yes, he's, he's like in the world now, and he's like, what is going on? So we're in Zelda land. We gotta find Ganon. Just, just, Justin Bieber meets him at the entry of the portal. I did you come into this place with it, with with Ganon, that wretched evil? And he's got. We've <laughs> got to have a little Justin Bieber like Easter egg. I think that he needs to say. He's like, it's impossible. I'll never be able to do it. And then he looks at the camera and he says, never say never. And at this point, a Justin Bieber song starts playing. Girl, you got that yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Perfect! Does it have a thing where it's like a bunch of like little pixies and they're all like twerking and stuff? <laughs> Girl, you got that yummy, yummy. And Link's like looking around like... Yeah, he's like, oh! Exactly. But this, but this is also the part of the story where the hero is tempted to stay where he is. Because uh -huh. this is already so good. So, so he finds another princess of some kind. No, he immediately starts eating Navi's pussy instead. Navi's Justin Bieber it is. pussy. Just like... <laughs> yeah. Well, he could sit there and be like, I love eating her pussy, but she never lets me do it. And he's just like, I'd let you do it. <laughs> His boy pussy. <laughs> yeah, you got that. <laughs> 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 
Hyrule's amazing. Hey, she's awesome. <laughs> Hyrule's amazing. Zelda's a bitch. Zelda's a bitch. I see that now. <laughs> how, do, how do we shake Link out of his complacency and get back on the track? I think he sits there and he needs to have a moment where he has like six or seven fairies around him in his bed. He looks at the reflection of himself in the bed and he sees Zelda there and he misses her embrace. I think that needs to be somewhere he's like, this is wrong, I do love her, blah, 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 right? So or, I, or as he's chowing down, he's just like, the only person I can really chow down is Zelda. And it's like romantic. I got really tired of your balls slapping in my face when I eat you out, Navi. <laughs> this is what, this is, <laughs> this is what, what I signed up for. I can't do this anymore, Navi! He's gotta fight Zelda! He's he busts out the room, and he sees the castle on the horizon. Ganon's castle on the horizon. Okay, so Zelda uh, is yeah, in the castle. Link is walking towards it in the end while Linkin Park is playing. <laughs> Um, dun, 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 dun. But yeah, no, the, 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 the he, you have the montage, you have the montage of him walking, and you can just have a bunch of like bullshit you see in the games, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, but he approaches the castle. Now what? I think I think Ganon's screaming as Zelda's on a piano playing a song, or or she has a bass guitar and she's doing do 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 do, and everybody's break dancing. What the fuck is that? The bad guy song. Yeah, she. Oh, oh she is the bad. I'm guy. a bad. Oh, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> do, 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 you heartless do, do, bitch. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, this is good. And then fuck Ganon yeah. Ganon ran over those people in a in a haste, or whatever. And Ganon was trying to get her away from him. Ganon was trying to help Link. He's a good guy all along. Oh. Yeah. Well, well, evidenced by him running over the risers. <laughs> Link busts open the door, and then Ganon's like, Link, no! no! And, it, and, it, and Zelda's like, I'm the bad <laughs> guy. So, but, uh, so now yeah. Zelda's trying to get Link to eat her pussy one last time, and it's gonna like... Or no, she's sitting there, exactly. She's, yeah. Zelda's sitting there, and she like opens up, she does, her legs are closed like this, and she does, well, Link, opens one leg. Here, boy. Come on up and get it. And he's like, oh. the thing is, one of the whole time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. But he starts crawling. But if he oh. does this, it's gonna do something like that. Yeah, his eyes, he's like slowly turning to stone. It's like her pussy's like Medusa's. It's gonna spawn Dark Link. Yeah, it starts, it starts Dark Link. <laughs> this is how Dark Link starts. Hell yeah. All right, who plays Dark Link? Also, I just wanna say too that Jamie he... Fox. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop. laughs> okay, all right, so he's gonna eat the pussy. He's doing this, he's just like, He's, he's proper dog faced at this point because he's changing into Dark Link. His like muzzles start to come out. Uh, well, do they, do they do they like subdivide like no clip? You know, yeah, when does he phasing? separate from him? Like when you get Dark Link and then Normal Link and then they fight. From the, from the Dark darkness Link. of under her dress, does Dark Link crawl, crawl out, out like the ring? Oh yeah, that's. Cool. And then he's like, Kshish. she's trying to tempt him, and then the yeah, sword boom. arm was gonna come out and stab him in the face. Yeah, but he's Classic. but he's too he's he's too quick. With he's it. too nimble Be because his reflexes are so good. He's been dodging he's been bulls. In Hyrule, yeah. He's been fucking. Yeah. <laughs> The sword comes out of yeah, his face. It, like it, come it looks like a giant blue testicle coming out of it. He's so, like, yeah. It's a little flashback. And then Nami's down there and he's like, yes, like, yes. It's Mr. Miyagi thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Training in the whole time. You ate my asshole out for a reason, Link. Yeah, a little wax on, wax off. So then what's the song that plays whenever he fights? Oh, there's a lot of musical numbers in this, huh? War Black Betty? Black Betty. <laughs> 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 He's fighting Darkling. Yeah, yeah. Black Betty, yeah. Darkling. Played by Jamie Foxx. Played by Jamie, yeah. yeah. Okay, Link. I guess it's time for you to die. Post strike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then obviously he beats him. But he beats him, in fact, not with his sword, but the crowbar from earlier. Because we're, we're starting sword, to draw him back sword, to Portland. His sword his, breaks. He just uh, hooks him on his inner cheek and like fucking just rips, rips his, his off. face off. <laughs> yeah. Zelda's like, no! Dark Link! And basically either she can, he can like, there's a couple options. Because in Mario, the giant bomb blows up the fucking universe or whatever, and it shoots them into reality. So it could be like an Akira monster where Zelda is like, you'll never leave this place. They need to end up in Portland again with like a big mass hysteria thing, like in Bowser. So maybe a, a sword of power breaks now they're back in Portland when he was a crowbar. So he's gonna beat beat Zelda's pussy to death with the crowbar. He this, takes a crowbar to her clip and like- That's what he's gonna do. Off. He's gonna- with, <laughs> She deflates. <laughs> the flies like a. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna 
visit you next time, lady. <laughs> next time. And then the movie, the movie needs to end with that fucking dubstep remix version of Into the Woods that was like popular like 15 years ago. The camera like pans up, whatever, right? Yeah. And you see like birds flying and yeah, it goes through and it's uh, smog and all the fucking pollution from Portland, whatever. And then as soon as it gets to the top, whatever, as soon as the drop hits on the dubstep song, it like flashes the title card of the movie again. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got credits. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucking intense? And that's how you fucking make a two billion dollar movie, ladies and gents. Unironically, I think it would make more money than the Mario. Movie. I I think so too. I think sometimes you make things not for the money but for the art. So no, I'm kind of happy times. with. That's not one of these times. We did it for the money. <laughs> <laughs> did you? I like watching these handsome and artistic boys shoot the shit and have a blast. Well, how would you like an hour of that weekly? Good! Well, you're in luck! Over on the Cream Crew channel. A weekly podcast between Flash Kids and Meat Canyon, I guess. Like this one's about going back in time and molesting ourselves. You can't miss it. So click here for the Cream Crew podcast. New episodes weekly.